So what's up? I am actually just about to start the day and I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to, wow, I look really tired. I know guys. Um, I'm actually going to try out the um, Temptu airbrushing system today for the first time. So we'll see how this works. Um, and I'm going to watch some Netflix and just get ready for the day because I have a lot of stuff to do today. So here it is. Um, I really like the application actually, it does make it look flawless and the only thing is that when you first, this is my first time ever using it, when I first um, sprayed my face with the airbrushing system, I I think I got a little too close because some areas felt like they were too heavy. So I started to work like in you know, small circular motions across the face after I noticed it here because it's where I started and it actually came out really nice and I did set it with powder but I had to wait just a little bit because at first I was like it kind of looks really wet and like it's gonna just slip and slide but then it just kind of settles into the skin and um, yeah minimal makeup today not really a lot as far as like you know my crazy eyeliner and lashes <laughs> There's Spongebob's house, and we had, oh, this thing right here, what, what is this called? The sea anemone? Well, carpet anemone. Oh, carpet anemone. Mm. And we have this other thing up here, which is, why are some of the things missing? What thing? The little spikes. What's spike? Oh, remember I told you it was stuck <gasps> or something? Aww, it was stuck. We didn't know, like, when we bought this fish tank. Bye. We didn't know that this little thing right here was, you know, that it was sea urchin, that it came with a fish tank, had no water, and that thing was like stuck behind behind all of these rocks, and then Jesse moved the rocks, and then that thing stung him. That's why it's missing a lot of them. Oh some of them look dead. Or maybe that's just the way it is, I don't know. And we have two little Nemos. Jake. He's Jake today. Jake. Hey! Jake the snake! Goal! No, I did! Yeah. You're gonna no. break my stuff. What up? You guys see that shark? Uh -oh. Isaac just makes us bring the shark with him. He doesn't want to go anywhere without it, so cute. <laughs> Things that I have to do today, um... Barnes & Noble, look for a planner for the new year. Um, I'm either going to check Barnes & Noble and get like the latest magazines as well because I don't have subscriptions. Um, and check out their planners or staples. Pick up my mail from my P.O. Box and visit the Wow Beauty Supply Store. I've been wanting to go because my hairdresser told me about that store. She said there's a lot of wigs there. And um, park with Isaac later in the afternoon, and I gotta get my nails done because they look really bad. So this is Isaac's room, just a little glimpse. These are the two big paintings that we got at the Melrose Trading Post, and they are so big, and he loves action figures. So when we got them, he was so excited. And this is his bed. We just, um, this is the bed, the, the bed set that he got for Christmas. And of course his name right above his head, or the headboard. And his little nightstand, his lamp from Ikea, his toothbrush, um, some water, because he gets thirsty in the middle of the night all the time, his little piggy bank, and his collection of books. Jesse actually painted this, um, hey, this the thing. 5D is in switch. my desk. Why are you gonna switch it? It's inside the desk drawers. And we still have to mount his TV up and finish painting his bookshelf. Um, so right now, this is his collection of books. A lot of them are from the thrift store because he has, like, I love getting books at the thrift store because I have a lot of them from, like, the 30s, 40s, 60s, 70s, like, really old school. They even smell amazing. And yeah, this is rug that I bought from Urban Outfitters. Um, and I just really like it. It just matches with his walls. And his little owl clock from, oh, I forgot where I got this. And these two stars are also from the thrift store. We just uh, painted them. This is his big table, Thomas the Train. 
he um he loves trains he doesn't really play with them a lot anymore but uh, we actually got this off of Craigslist and it came with like a lot of different trains and the tracks and stuff so that was a good deal and then this is a little vintage coat hanger um, also from the Melrose Trading Post it's his uh, penguin suitcase everybody asks about it whenever we travel and Isaac like carries it is so cute and um, here are some little uh, artwork also from the Melrose Trading Post. He has a little Alcancia. My mom gave him this for um, Christmas. And his Buzz and Woody, and also Buzz and Woody. He's not really into Buzz and Woody anymore, but we just keep him up here. And his little cup that we got him at Universal's, the Minion Cup. This is really cute. And then this one, this is a vintage um, dresser. And um, yeah, that's in his room. Isaac. Okay. He wants to go to the movies, so that's what we're gonna go do. Um, I think we're gonna watch Frozen, which is, is it just for girls though? I don't know. I think that's the only Disney movie out though. Is that a Disney movie? It looks like a really cute story though. I really want to see it. And, um, yeah, let me show you guys this planner that I got. Hello, sucker. Popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah, we're gonna go get popcorn. Sorry. Pop huh? Let's see what I have in here. Jesse got. Daddy bought. A power lead lighted hands free okay. magnifier. Because he repairs um, Xboxes and all that stuff. And he got a really simple planner, which is typical of a guy like him that is not into anything pretty. And I want to get a planner that um, is really cute. All right. All right. Hold on. Oh, boy. I want to get a planner that's super cute and I fell in love with because you're going to keep it for a year. So you know you want to have something that's, or at least I do. I'm excited to check my mail. Every time I check my P.O. box, I'm so excited because I love reading letters. Love them! This guy's bumper sticker says I'm not racist. I don't like Obama's white hat either. Now, why would you do that? That's what I want to know. We ended up going to Sally's Beauty Supply. And I'm not going to show you what I got because I am going to do a haul tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning. I'm going to film it tomorrow. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Wow, I lost my train of thought. A journal? I couldn't find my journal. Um, they had some, but none that I really liked. And um, I ended up getting this book which is cool and I also got the gratitude power workbook because one thing that I want to do like for 2014 like one of my priorities is going to be to meditate at least 15 minutes a day and I'm going to try to do that like early in the morning kind of like a workout you know but just for your body like your your inner spirit so got that and of course I got lucky magazine and yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not even going to dig through the stuff that I got. Because if not, I am going to want to use it. Um, but I do want to show you guys. Hold on. So I ended up buying these two extensions. These are just snap-on extension, excuse me, extensions. And I've been in the mood to just, um, you know, I, since I just recently dyed my hair. I Next time I was talking to Tara, and she's my hairdresser, and... We were talking about maybe doing like blue hair inspired by Demi Lovato or just like pink hair. Because hair is hair. I mean, I love having long, healthy hair. It's not healthy. I was thinking about doing just like my ends, like a really dark purple or like a pink or a blue. Definitely not pastels because they just wash me out. But the darker colors, I think they would look really awesome. So um, for now, since I just dyed my hair, I think the next time that I go in is going to be maybe in like two months. 
like in eight weeks just because I do have a lot of heavy highlights and she just gave me like top highlights so I didn't get highlights all throughout my hair I just got them basically around here and the top section which um, was you know this this is the only way that I was able to lighten my hair not the only way but you know without bleaching everything and it just feels a lot healthier too even though I you know she did this method anyways so the kits contain two pieces and the brand is called Design Lengths. Uh, this is the hot pink and uh, says 100% human hair, 1 inch wide by 14 inches long. So two piece clip and extensions. And right now I'm not sure about the blue. So I got the blue just because if I dye my hair dark again. I'm not going to go black like I was before. It was just way too harsh on my skin. But I was going through a phase where I was just like, I want my hair like pitch black, the darkest you can do it. And I was doing it out of the box. So it was just like one solid color and it looks so bad. Sometimes I look at myself like, like videos from back then or like posts on my blog from like a few years back. I'm like, what was I thinking with that outfit, that hair, that makeup, those brows? You know, but at the moment you think you're a freaking fly. I saw a picture of Lauren Conrad with a ponytail. And she had like, I don't know if they, they were ex extensions, but she had some, she had like pink streaks. And that's sort of what inspired me to try out the pink ones. They look a little bit longer because they have them layered like this. But they're really not that long. So what I was thinking is just like maybe doing some peekaboos. <gasps> this would be so cute guys look and you could just okay no I don't know how this looks it's just like a piece of pink hair <laughs> that looks kind of weird oh, no actually it looks cool <gasps> okay I'm loving it now you just gotta blend it in with the rest of your hair you know because if it's like just like this it's not gonna work but I feel like if you take a piece what's up what are you doing? just talking about my clip ends what do you think about them I don't like them. You don't? No. Look, look they look cool. The pink hair. Yeah. So Jesse said he doesn't like them. I like them. Look, you can do a ponytail and then you have like pink hair. Yeah. This is like yeah. such a modest pink way to have hair. colored yeah. hair. Cool. Says me. I like it. Oh, we went to go watch Frozen today and I loved that movie. It made me cry a lot of times. And uh, Jesse and Isaac were so bored. We initially took um, we took Isaac because he was asking to go to the movies. And we took him. We were like, what movie is out for kids? And um, they had Frozen, which is a movie that everyone wanted to see. And I saw a bunch of little boys and just like a bunch of different kids um, at the movie theater. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be good because it kind of looks like it's a girl movie. And it totally is a girl movie. And there's a lot of singing, and Jesse's not into, like, musicals, so to speak. So he was like, man, another song? I was like, I'm feeling this. I was, like, having the best time. I love that movie. I was not bored at all. It's such a beautiful story. And if you're really sensitive, because I am a really sensitive person, I can cry really easily over just emotional feelings. And typically when it's, like, like when I'm just like really happy, I cry really easily. And that movie just like touches your heart. It's so sweet. And I didn't know that uh, Kristen Bell was one of the bo voices. I thought Demi Lovato was, but I think Demi Lovato just um, sang that song, Let It Go. And yeah, I love it. If you guys have kids, definitely recommend the movie I Frozen. Play. What? What is that guy doing? Look, I want to play. Say no, mommy's whack. Uh, mommy's not whack. No. Okay, I'm gonna go play. See you guys later.